This is John from Electromaven. This is another in a series of simple how-to videos dealing with audio projects. This how-to is on putting a set of speakers in parallel. In this how-to, we're going to talk about putting speakers in parallel. What parallel does for you is it reduces the impedance in a circuit. Uh, in this particular instance, we have a 4-ohm woofer, woofer number 1, uh, another 4-ohm woofer, woofer number 2. Putting these two units in parallel will take the 4-ohm impedance of each woofer and give us a circuit impedance of 2 ohms. The other benefit of doing this is that the power handling capability of the circuit also increases. This is a basic 60-watt woofer. Uh, put in parallel with the other woofer, that doubles the amount of wattage that this particular speaker can handle. In this particular instance, it's 120 watts for the parallel circuit. Putting them in parallel means that you have two parallel paths electrically for the current to, or the signal to travel through. Uh, what that takes is basically an extra set of leads from one to the other. Or there's another way we can show you how to do it also. We'll, we'll do that as well. Uh, in this particular case, it's negative uh, from the signal source to woofer number one, negative. Another negative from the signal source to woofer number two, negative. A positive from the signal source to positive on woofer number one. Another positive from the signal source to positive on number two. That's in parallel. Now, a lot of times you don't want to run long speaker leads. Uh, it causes an issue. Well, one of the ways you can also get these two speakers in parallel is by just taking a lead, a pair of uh, speaker wires from woofer number two and connecting them into woofer number one, thus. And what you have at this point is you have, again, a parallel circuit. Uh, this circuit will handle 120 watts. It has a nominal impedance of 2 ohms. And very simple to do, very quick, uh, not a lot of headache, not a lot of uh, things need to be known. Again, we're going to do this very quickly just so you understand what you're looking at again. Uh, we have positive lead from the signal source to positive on woofer number two, positive lead from the signal source to positive on woofer number one, another negative so from the signal source to woofer one, negative from the signal source to woofer number two. Uh, so we have parallel. And then again, if you don't want to run two sets of leads, all you need is a short little jumper wire going from the positive of one speaker to the positive of the other from the negative one speaker to the negative the other. So it's just basically clip this on here and clip this on here and you still have a parallel circuit. And what's happening at that particular point is the signal is going this way and everything comes off. But it is again parallel because you're looking at the parallel uh, legs at that particular point.